Yes, I feel I'm a European. Um, I'm a Belgian, but I'm born in the Netherlands, which makes me already uh, plurinational uh, almost. And I also live in Brussels, the capital of Europe, where it is very hard not to feel European. What was no doubt uh, the fall of the Berlin Wall in uh, 1989. I was 15 years old, so I was just too young to jump in a car and drive to Berlin, but I had to watch it on TV. And that moment when people were breaking down the wall between a, uh, a place, Western Europe, where there was freedom and democracy, and the other place where they didn't have freedom and democracy. So that defined my view of uh, Europe as being a place where people want to go to because there is indeed this freedom, there is this democracy, and there is a rule of law. Um, I'm not sure this kind of moment will ever come back to Europe. I hope not, because first we would have to see another wall again, and I hope that will really never happen. was no doubt uh, the refugee crisis. The exact same countries uh, that joined the EU, well, not all of them, but many of them, and whom we were so happy uh, to have in the European uh, community back then and later European Union, they refused to take uh, people in need, refugees who were escaping war, escaping misery, and they not only refused to host these people, to give them a future, but also they were closing their walls, uh, closing their borders themselves by building walls, for example, in Hungary. And the fact that they, the ones that were actually breaking down the barbed wire, the iron curtain, the wall between East and West, were some of the same countries that built a wall against people in not the same uh, situation as they were in 89, but still very similar. That was extremely disappointing and uh, I can only hope that we'll never come back. Was the introduction of Schengen and uh, the fact that there were no more borders in the EU. When I travelled with my children to uh, to the Middle East and we travelled from Beirut to Syria in some 10 years ago, uh, we had to wait for at least one, two hours at the border giving documents. It was an entire procedure, it was difficult. So for my children who were born after Schengen, borders and border controls was a new concept almost. I remember as a child when we had to wait at the border between Belgium and France or Belgium and Germany and there were indeed controls. We had to wait sometimes for an hour, there were traffic jams, there were these, you had to open uh, uh, your car and show, this is gone, I mean this is freedom and one thing that is also the, the, the core message of Europe that we don't do internal borders anymore and for anyone visiting Europe from outside uh, the European Union, they are almost shocked to see that we can go from one country to another and you don't need any visa, you don't need any passport control. This is freedom, this is the core of the European project uh, for me. I think the best thing they have done for me was no doubt giving me the opportunity to study uh, on Erasmus to study abroad. In my case, I moved from the University of Leuven to the University of Bologna in Italy for one year. The fact that I could see there a different way of, uh, of understanding history, uh, a different way of looking at things at another university was extremely enriching. But also the fact that I got their friends from many countries in the European Union. It was the start of my European network of friends that since then has only been broadened. 
and this experience was was actually absolutely fantastic and i can only hope that the eu will invest even more in erasmus so giving more people the opportunity to have this formative brilliant experience of studying or working abroad i would hope that there will be a one European-wide elected president. If we have European-wide elections for this one president that will become also the face of Europe instead of the multiple phases we have right now, I think this kind of election would bring the EU its good sides and its challenges at the kitchen table uh, of every family within the EU, it would bring European subjects not only through national lenses and through national politicians into the discussion back home, but it would create another atmosphere. And I think democratically, politically, but also socially, that would probably be the one thing that would shape the image of the EU for every European um, in the EU, but also uh, abroad.